Hi everyone, welcome to the Tech High Priest. In this video, we are going to install Linux Mint. It's a very, very lightweight uh, Linux operating system. Very user friendly. It's built off Debian and Ubuntu. Super, super light, and I really love Linux Mint. The installation is not very different compared to all the other ones we've installed on this channel. It's almost the same thing, but as soon as we're done with this installation, I will start taking you step by step and teaching you how to use Linux. So let's go to a screen and uh, let's visit their website. So that's linuxmint.com. And when you get to linuxmint.com, uh, we'll go ahead and hit download to download the image. Brings us to this page. Now we have several uh, uh, displays. We have the Cinnamon Edition. Um, this one is the most popular version of Linux Mint, uh, developed for uh, by Linux Mint. It's slick, beautiful, and full of new features. So I'm going to hit download here. I want to install the Cinnamon Edition. I will choose my download link from kennel.org. It's about 2.7 gigabyte. I'm going to save this on the desktop. And uh, let's see how many minutes it takes. So you want to get an image maybe near to your geography since it's going to be faster. Uh, off kennel.org, it says I'll probably have this in about four minutes. Init so the download has completed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the installation. I'm going to open our VMware Workstation Professional and uh, we have a VMware Workstation Professional. And I'm going to hit File, New Virtual Machine. And the typical recommended, and I'm going to call, I'm going to choose the image. I'm going to browse. I remember I downloaded that image to my desktop. I will select desktop. And uh, on the desktop, this is the image Linux means 22. I'll click on that. And then I'm going to hit uh, I'll hit next. And that's Linux. Uh, what version of Linux? Oh, look if you have any Linux Mint here. If we don't have a Linux Mint, I would go ahead and choose like uh, Linux 64 bits. Let me just say other Linux 64 bit kernel. And the next thing we are going to do is uh, click next. And I'll just call it uh, Linux Mint VM. Good. And uh, from there, I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to give the storage 20 gigabyte. Next. And I'll go ahead and I'll customize this. I want to get more RAM. I'll give you like 4 gig of RAMs because uh, Linux Mint is, uh, has a lot of graphic user interface. So we'll need a little bit more memory for that. And then I think the two CPUs are fine. I'll hit close. And uh, I'm going to hit finish. As we hit finish, it's gonna boot that system and we're going to proceed from there. So, well, I hit finish, but I have to power it on rather. I'll power it on right here. I just hit finish, I will power it on. Power on the machine. And uh, powering on. Now, here we have the option to start using Linux Mint. I'm gonna select the first option, double click inside the screen, then use your up and down arrow on your keyboard to make your choices. Enter. Start using Linux Mint. We give it a second to load. And there we find ourselves on this page. And we can actually try the operating system right here and see how it works. However, we have the option of double clicking on this install Linux Mint. I'll double click on that. Now it's not to double click on that. It will give us the option to proceed with the installation. And I have to choose my language. My language is English. Continue. English US. My keyboard. They are. Um, I don't want to install any of these right now. I'll just hit continue.
I will choose the default option, erase this and install in now Linux Mint. That'll be on all of the 20 gigabyte that I assigned for this virtual machine. Hit install now. And I say continue. It's gonna write all of that data to disk. My time zone is Chicago. Continue. And I'm gonna put my name. Oh, let me put the tech hybrids. Linux. Linux Mint. My username will be THP. I'll put in my password. Continue. And uh, that's beautiful. The installation has begun. And all I have to do is sit and wait, and uh, that's essentially how you install Linux, uh, Linux Mint on VMware Workstation Pro. To see what's happening in the background, you can click on this uh, drop down menu to close it and click on the play button here again to expand to see what's happening. So the installation is finished and all I have to do is uh, restart now to use my virtual machine. You could restart now. Now it says to remove the installation media and then press enter. And the way to do that is to come over here where you have your or the name of your virtual machine. For example, this is my Linux Mint VM. Right click on it, uh, go to settings. And then the install in installation media is the ISO file that's linked to this virtual machine. Come here to CD, DVD, and then uh, uh, connect on power on, I'll uncheck it. It's not connected anyway, so it would have been checked, it would have been connected. And I'll uncheck it, I don't want it to connect on power on because uh, I don't want it to start installing it all over again. And I click OK. All right, click inside the screen and I just hit enter. And the reboot begins. And now uh, we have our login page. What happened to this put your password. Clean our password. And here we are with our completely installed version of Linux Mint. I can close this uh, welcome page, not very important. And uh, I like to make my screen go full screen. Uh, I'll change my background. There are some very good uh, backgrounds. Wilma, let me take this one. Beautiful operating system. My favorite tool is always the terminal. But there's a lot of stuff you can do with Linux Mint. They even have uh, uh, other accessories. You probably have some free televisions uh, station. You have to look for them somewhere around here. You should have some free TV stations. But this is a very good interface that kind of like helps you uh, with your beginning into Linux. In our next video, I will start teach you, teaching you the basics of Linux and uh, by the time we are done, you'll be a Linux Pro. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you at the top.